So after watching the videos, um, I thought I would kind of do a recap of what I did the last time around and I uh, got the motor out and after watching the videos and I got this, I don't know what it is, bug noise and <laughs> my camera angles aren't that great so um, just kind of recap uh, what I just did and just show you uh, a few things. Um, one is I was having a lot of trouble getting uh, the motor out of the the midsection and the reason one of the reasons that was is because this bolt right here was you know binding as you can see you got part of the aluminum frame there so you can't really get that bolt out and this bolt is actually I don't believe in it's not incorrectly it really should have a nut and come from the other direction down and then when you take it out then it won't bind up on you or anything and uh, this section didn't come off of the bottom here and it's just it drops you just gotta um, should be able to just uh, drop straight out of there so there's nothing holding it and then the next thing would be to get um, the shift shaft off and it just comes off so it's pretty simple um, it's you know obviously I gotta make another game plan for you know what I want to do next and that could be a myriad of things. Um, you know, get it on the bench, maybe get the flywheel off. And, uh, you know, just inspect that uh, stator, alternator. Um, the other thing is this midsection, you know, it's a good midsection. There's nothing really exorbitant wrong with it. You know, obviously I need to get another... Um, gasket for this and then there's a gasket that goes underneath there I believe um, and to show you the inside of it it's you know, obviously really dirty and I've got all that disconnected right now um, I have another midsection that I'm, I'm going to use because uh, one of the things was this pin right here and <clears throat> There was a couple of ways to approach that. One, I tried to beat it in, and it, it didn't want to, you know, go. It got to a certain point, and then it just wouldn't. So most likely, this shaft is burred somewhere or something like that. Um, in retrospect, I probably should have taken, you know, my Dremel or something, or, you know, just take something in sandpaper, whatever it might be, and go around the shaft and then beat it back in do this end of the shaft and just keep working it with some oil and stuff until eventually it would go back into place and I probably should have done that but I was not really thinking correctly and I knew I had the other housing so you know I just figured well I'll just do that and make it fast and get it out of there um, I have another pin if I absolutely had it to I could probably get that out and maybe at some point I might um, but it really needs to be painted you know pretty badly um, the lower units in great condition um, I'll open it up and check it out one thing like this this here is the water inlet and as you can see it's really badly clogged which means inside of here there's a water cavity and that cavity basically comes up and it comes and it goes back out here and uh, that's how it cools the power head um, so I have one gasket. I'm going to have to order another gasket. Um, I'll look up that part number and get it ordered. So, you know, there's a couple things on the bench. Um, get this off, obviously. 
and then um, I'm going to remove this head too which means I'll have to get a gasket and uh, just want to check that and make sure it's in good shape and then either I'll replace this one with one I got in the shed or I'll uh, I'll get this out and then plug it because it doesn't need to be open like that and I'm gonna have to heat these bolts up most likely um, to get them out so I'll just do a butane torch or something light heat because I don't want this to um, warp so I'm probably gonna heat them all up so they're they're kind of heated up individually and then I'll break them all and get that off of there and obviously you know on that this plate again I'm gonna have to fix that that uh, nut you know it broke off or bolt broke off so but I think I I'll be able to get that I get some channel locks or something and heat it up put some channel locks on it and work it out or I may have to tap and drill it uh, hopefully not so anyway that's uh, that's where I'm at and uh, other than that you know I'm, uh, I need to clean up um, just make sure I got everything put back and then I gotta clean up some bench space so I can get that over there get it on a get it on a bench and um, I've got to also get my uh, vice you know maybe better mounted although I believe I don't have one wide enough to put the actual engine in but um, I'm okay with that because um, I've worked on them just on this bench uh, you know a few other things get the carbs cleaned and you know get them all synchronized up correctly and anyway it's gonna be a process so, so far it's looking pretty good um, I didn't spend a ton of time getting that off you know so I gotta kind of do it while I do my regular gig but um, the other thing too is I want to get this housing this other housing I have um, I'm gonna get it cleaned up and painted because it looks better and um, anyway I'll have to take some hardware off of it and I've got some hardware left from the top cow that I have to paint as well. So I'm going to try to do all that in one setting. And uh, so I think uh, let's get my game plan together and, and uh, you know, video some of this stuff. And hopefully it all makes sense. Um, yeah anyway just want to do a little synopsis and I guess uh, at least it's not hot out today we get our overcast so it's probably 80 and that's not bad considering it was like 95 anyway have a good one